everybody and welcome back to Deb Creates and at last we have Tucker the AA dog or my version of Tucker which it's not exactly like him um, but it's not bad so uh, I'll leave it to your judgment anyway and you can see what you think and leave me a comment about whether you think it is like him or it isn't um, suddenly the AA have made a dog that you, I think you can buy or that maybe you get if you take out a, a, a policy with them or whatever and um, that looks absolutely nothing like him at all so this is certainly a better version than that so all knitted and as, if you watch the advert you can see that the puppet dog that they're using is knitted you can see the wool on him and you can see the actual where the wool falls and you can see that he's knitted so, uh, so I thought, oh, great, we'll, we'll knit one. I couldn't see a pattern for him. So, uh, so I decided just to use one of my own dog patterns that I've already got. So, um, so the pattern I used was for the Yorkshire Terrier. So there's the Yorkshire Terrier pattern. And the reason I used that one because it was because it had a long coat and it gave you sort of the way to lay the coat out a little bit. So I thought that would be a good idea to do. Um, the initial way you make the dog is to make a body or so I made him all in just a plain grey wool and you knit all the components of him so you knit the head, the legs, the body, the tail and you put that body together then after you've done that you have to fur him up, put the hair on so what can I say, very very fiddly and time consuming so anybody who watches my channel will know that um, I've spent a long time making the AA dog. Uh, there are a few reasons for that. One, uh, with us being in the lockdown, you can't get a lot of the wool. It's not easy to get wool. Most of the wool shops are, are shut. You can get it online, but the fact that you can't actually look at it and look at the how it is going to work put me off getting it online. So I thought I'm gonna end up sending for something that I'm not gonna be able to use. So in the end, I went to the range and got, it's a flecky gray wool. So it's got brown little flecks in him and also his nose wool, which is one I already had. This one has got flecks in as well. So it's not just white or just cream. It actually has some little brown and different flecks in it. Looks a bit like he's been eating chocolates on it. But, um, but a normal dog would be like that. He wouldn't be spark, you know, completely white. He would have some different uh, colors in his fur, I think. So, uh, so that seemed a more sensible idea. So um, so that's one of the reasons it's taken me a long time, is to find the appropriate wool. Also, the eyes, I didn't have any eyes that were suitable for him. Um, I sent for a box of eyes that were all different sizes, but when they came, none of them were big enough. So again, I'm like, oh no, what am I gonna do now? So I decided to knit the eye in black. I knitted the eyes and put those on, and it didn't look right. So I tried putting little white highlights in it, and it didn't look right. So in the end, what I've done is taken the largest of the eyes that I bought, the little black plastic eyes, and put them into the knitted base. So the eye still looks bigger, but it's got that nice shiny bit in the middle, almost like a shiny pupil. And that worked. So, uh, well, I think it did. For me, it did anyway. So um, the nose is knitted. So just, uh, you can buy noses. Again, I wasn't sure if I could get one big enough for this dog. So, um, so I, I went with the knitted one, which I think looks okay. Um, we'll have a look around him. So here he is. So very shaggy dog, very shaggy dog. Lots of uh, shaggy fur. Uh, little paws. There's the back of him, there's his tail. So his tail looks a bit like a toilet brush. <laughs> but there's his tail on the back of him. There you go. So there he is, and I think he looks like a miniature schnauzer, really. That's, to me, that's the sort of dog he looks like. Um, I've got a, there's a couple of things I haven't done perfectly well. I think in, the actual AA dog has much floppier ears. He needed longer ears. And I've used the ones on the pattern for the, um, the Yorkshire Terrier. So they've come out a bit too short, really. And there's more black in his ears. I didn't realise how much his ears are pretty much all black. Whereas mine, I've done black and grey. Um, and, and sort of blended it in but I think they would have been sort of more more down facing maybe and, and longer on, on the actual AA dog but uh, but I didn't want them to sort of blow in the wind 
so uh, so so I have gave him sort of they are a bit shorter the ears um, but I think what do I think he's not a bad attempt he's not a bad attempt at, uh, at the AA dog and uh, I haven't seen many attempts at him I think um, not that I would say we're actually like him anyway so uh, so I don't know tell me what you think leave me a comment See if you think it's a, it's, it's a good attempt at the AA dog. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, as I say, easy enough to knit the underneath of the dog. So if you wanted to make the Yorkshire Terrier or something, very easy to knit the underneath of the dog. Um, very quickly done. The actual putting in the fur, you do it with a crochet hook and you, you take a length of wool, put it into a stitch, um, fold the wool in half and crochet it through and slip it through itself and pull. Almost like making a tassel. It's like making a tassel. And, uh, and that's how we get the, uh, the fur. And then, of course, once it's all in, you need to go around and trim it up where he's got shorter bits and longer bits. And that helps to make him look a bit more like he should look. Um, the Yorkshire Terrier is easier because his fur is much longer. So you leave it in a longer length and you don't need as much. Whereas I've had to layer him up quite a lot. And I've put too much fur in his back. So in his back here, it's too fluffy. I've put too many layers in and I didn't probably need them. I could have put, probably put got away with less there. So I've used the whole big ball of wool to do him so he does it, you know it was and it was in a fairly expensive wool so uh, so it, it does it does take up quite a lot of wool but for AA dog enthusiasts I'm sure uh, that you'd like to uh, the, it doesn't matter about the expense does it? it it's certainly worth having a go and seeing how you get on with him so um, so the, the, by the way the patterns the, the, it's the Allen Dart pattern, so that's the uh, Allen, Allen Dart Yorkshire Terrier pattern I used. But I think it's, uh, it, probably the AA dog's legs are longer as well. So again, you could use a different pattern and just adapt it. Any Terrier pattern or, 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 or a bigger dog that's like that in that sort of style. Or just make it, or just use the same pattern and knit the legs a bit longer. Knit a few more extra rows onto the legs because it does have longer legs. Um, it suggests to stuff to give the, the legs their strength are straws and you stick the straws together with um, some sellotape or something, bind, bind them together, leave the, about an inch left at the top and that actually you push those up into his body to give him that, uh, that strength to be able to, to stand and uh, so he can, he can stand up. They're not incredibly strong but he can stand up, he does stand up. He can also, if we pop the back ones down, he can sit down, so uh, so he will sit as well, and uh, that makes his head look up a bit. There you go. There's his tail. So uh, so yeah. Let me know what you think. It's been a long wait to get him, and uh, at last he's here. So uh, so I'm pleased with that anyway. So uh, so yeah. Give me give me a like if you if you think he's like Tucker the AA dog, or if you just like him anyway. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel to see more dogs, cats, uh, I'm also doing Falton, so some, some Falton projects will be going on there as well. And uh, yeah, so uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.